Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, whatever time and whatever place you're listening to me. Um, this is the inaugural issue of On Pilgrimage Through the Scripture, in which we're going to talk about uh, what is On Pilgrimage Through the Scripture anyway. So in this, in this podcast, we'll be talking all about what it's about and why you should spend precious time listening to it. Now, if you're a regular listener, you might be saying, well, wait. You've already been doing this for weeks. Why, you're just introducing it now? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. We've already put out about 10 videos, if you look in our YouTube channel. And so that was marketing speak for what we call a kind of soft opening. Uh, so this is the official grand opening. And so we're going to be, uh, we've gotten everything down now and we know what we're doing. So decided it's a good time for us to do a grand opening. So welcome. Join us in our pilgrimage through the scriptures. The object of On Pilgrimage Through the Scriptures is to do a systematic teaching through the scripture. And when I say that, what I mean is we're going to be going through the entire scripture. However, if you want seminary level education, you've come to the wrong place. We're going to be going through the scripture asking the questions, what does God want us to know here? Um, so as we go through scripture, we'll get the primary teaching points and you may develop others for yourselves. We won't be doing exhaustive studies like John Owen or Matthew Henry. If you know who they are, if you don't, that's okay. You missed the joke. Those of you who know John Owen and those of you who know Matthew Henry know that they're guys who like to go on and on and on talking about a subject. In fact, it said when John Owen finished with, when John Owen exhausted the subject, he not only exhausted the subject, but he exhausted the reader. So um, you don't have to fear in that sense. We're not going to assume you have a PhD. We're going to make every attempt to provide all the background that you need to understand the topic. And so we're going to fail. We're going to be going about 20 to 25 minutes for the most part so that you don't, we don't overwhelm your brain. And uh, so some of you will find that too long, as the guy who suggested I keep it to two minutes. Some people will find it too short. Uh, but this is about what we're going to do. So our, now we have our podcast currently stored on, in YouTube, on, on Pilgrimage Through the Scripture channel. Uh, but we're planning a move to Gab TV, and we'll get there just as soon as we get there. And so right now, all of our videos are linked to our own On Pilgrimage Through the Scripture groups in Facebook, MeWe, and Gab. So you can find us there. And I share them with other groups uh, that I am a member of that are for which this is an appropriate topic. And the purpose of the, the books on Face Group and Gab and MeWe is to interact with you, answer your questions, clarify points that aren't clear, deal with controversies. I hope that you'll take the opportunity to use them to ask whatever questions you have that arise in your mind and what about what I have said or what just occurs to you. If I get enough of them, we might do special Q&A programs. Already started getting some comments on our, uh, on our programs. So uh, keep the, just keep those uh, coming. Now, some of you have been listening for a while. And some of you have that been around for a while may say, well, wait, we already have that. You know, through the Bible radio at J. Burry McGee already does this. Why, why do we need something else? Well, the answer to the question is yes, he already does do this. And to some extent, this will be a shameless ripoff of Dr. McGee. However, there's nothing wrong with that. For example, just because someone's preached on a text doesn't mean that no one needs to teach on it ever again. Uh, otherwise, we just record one preacher, and that would be enough, and that would be everything. <sighs> Under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we know that different people come up with different emphases on the text, and so it never hurts to hear teaching on the same text more than once. And in fact, you know that's why some people are, you know, you know, you if someone wants to preach on John three sixteen, people are going to go. Uh, this is about the 97th time I've heard this. Um, but, but you can always get something out of it from somebody else. So listen to Dr. McGee. 
Listen to me. Learn what God has to say to you in the scripture. But we're hoping that this will be an improvement, if I can be so bold and so arrogant as to say something like that. Um, when he did his, first, when he did his recordings, uh, he did it from the 1960s to the 1980s. And some 40 years have passed since then, at least. And I'd like to think that we could do some updating to what he's been talking about. For example, in those 40 years, the emerging church has come and gone. We've seen the rise of the megachurch. More importantly, we're challenged by postmodernism and critical theory, especially critical race theory. And these were issues that Dr. McGee never had to confront and things with which we're, we, uh, we, are, we have to deal with today. And in fact, you know, if 40 years from now, I hope that others will redo this program, dealing with issues that they have to deal with. So now some will say, listening to this, but the fundamental teaching of scripture never changes. So why do we have to do something else? Well, absolutely, yes. The fundamental teaching of Scripture never changes. But the application of it might change because our circumstances will be different. Second, we, ha we have changes in technology. Dr. McGee uh, confined himself to radio messages because that was the technology that he had. And when he started in the 60s, that was state-of-the-art. Uh, through podcasts, We'll be able to take advantage of the technological capabilities and have lecture slides like, like we have here, uh, show pictures, clip videos. I can
one last thing before we go is if you haven't already, check out our Gab MeWe, MeWe or Facebook pages on Pilgrimage Through the Scripture. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can go back on our YouTube channel or look at any of the um, any of our uh, groups, and you can find all of our past uh, past podcasts. So check that out, and we'll look forward to seeing you in future editions of our program.